everyone. So we're gonna start drawing our bear. So we're doing a bear holding a love heart. Um, and we're going to be painting it with uh, using coffee later, okay? So I'm gonna start um, by drawing the heart in the middle of the picture. I know some of you find it difficult to draw a heart. There is a little rhyme that we can use to help us. So I'm gonna show you. So about halfway down the page, here's the top, here's the bottom. So you want to go halfway. Look at the marker on my hand, uh oh. Um, I'm using a marker, guys, you're using pencil. I'm using a marker so that you can see it better. Now, so halfway down the page, we're going to draw our heart. I would like it kind of plump, you know, a little bit wide. I don't want it too skinny, just a little bit wide. Okay, so halfway down the page, we're going to use our rhyme, and our rhyme goes like this. When three takes a nap, uh, v lays a trap and the heart is created like a, in a snap. So we try like this, right? So halfway down the page, we have, we draw the letter tree. Now tree's taking a nap, so he's lying on his side. And he goes like this. Very good, so we have our number three taking a nap. Uh-oh, but V lays a trap. So we go down and around and a heart is made in a snap. So when you have that done, you're going to soften the edges. So when I mean soften the ed edges, you see where the V and the three come together. You're going to make sure that there's no sharp bits, corners on it. So just edge out. You can do it a lot easier than I can because you don't. You're doing it with pencil. So we have our heart. Our next part then is we're going to start drawing the head of the bear. So the head is like a semicircle. You're going to start about here on this side of the heart, okay? So not down here, not up here, in about the middle of the curve, just nearly even, oh, more than the middle. So about here. And you're going to go around. He's a big head. A big head. Around like so. Okay. Next, we're going to give him some eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Now, guys, remember, you're all, all your drawings are going to look different. Okay? And that's what makes them special. So I'm going to give him two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. So about here... I'm going to draw a big circle and a big circle. So you draw your big circles. Then I draw a small circle and a small circle because we want him looking this way. So a big circle, big circle, small circle, small circle. Then another circle here, down and a mouth. Okay, so you have the heart, the head, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. So then we're going to give him two ears. So on this side and this side. So not too far down, but not too much in the middle either. So we're going to start by drawing two big semicircles. So it goes like this. So draw them first. And then you're going to draw a small semicircle. Oh, my bear has big ears, doesn't he? Very good. Now, they're all going to be look very different, and that's what makes them really cute. Now, we just have to put in the two hands and the two feet. Okay, so our hands are two circles. Yours are going to look better than mine because I'm doing mine in marker and you're doing yours in pencil. So we're going to about here on your heart. 
you're going to draw one paw and one paw when you have them done so they're just two circles you're going to draw the feet now the feet are going to be bigger so around here so you don't want all the circle in on top of the heart you only want a little bit of the circle going over the heart so we're going to start here and round and here and round so now we have our bear holding the heart you see my leg is a little bit wonky there i bet you have better legs than mine or better feet than mine and you're lucky you can rub up rub out any mistakes don't rub them too much though and then on the paws we're going to draw three circles okay they're going to be the three little parts of the paw the little pads one two three one two three you can't see that one so good on mine so so we have our heart our heads our eyes our nose our mouth our ears our hands and our feet now on the heart we're going to write a, a message again you're doing all yours in pencil because you can go over it later so i'm going to write mine first and um, everybody we're going to write i love you for valentine's day for saint valentine's day so i i love l o v e love i love now you might remember how to spell you from your tricky words y o u i love you i love you and i'm going to leave this on the screen so you can see it Okay, so we have it all drawn and we're going to have a go at painting it so I have my coffee mixture so I just put in a few spoonfuls of sugar you see how dark it is there and a little bit of water so you, it, you can make it as light or as dark as you would like it it's going to be more like a wash of a color that means kind of a watery brown um, I don't even like the smell of coffee, but I got some just to do this. I have a very old paintbrush. You can see, look, looks like it's going to fall apart, but and it's not the best anymore, but we're, I'm still going to use it. So you can see there's a bit of coffee on it. So we're just going to paint the furry bits of what, what would be the furry bits of the bear. So the brown bits of the bear. So I'm going to go around here. Now, as you can see, it's a wash. So a little goes a long way. Take your time. Don't put loads and loads and loads on your paintbrush. If you have a big paintbrush, just be careful that you don't have too much on it. And take your time. Take your time. You have lots of time to do it. I'm just gonna keep going here and you can start. around the eyes I'm doing the whole head and the ears first because they're the big parts to do aren't they I hope now you're going to be really nice to your mums and dads for Valentine's Day maybe make them some toast or something you shouldn't really be using the kettle or anything like that without an adult so if you're going to do anything nice for them maybe breakfast in bed make sure that there's somebody there old enough with you doing it so i'm just going around the eyes now you'll probably take a lot longer doing this and take your time look i made a mistake went over the eyes so 
I was rushing it. So you take your time. I'm going to do the ear next. Now, see the way I'm doing the big circle on the ear? Yeah, we're going to do that first. And then I'm, now I'm going to do the paws. Now you did yours in, in pencil, so you won't have the black marks going through yours like mine. If it, yours will look better than mine. And then zoom the feet. okay now so we did the ears and that okay do you know what I'm going to do now I'm going to put a little bit I'm gonna you take your time and do that I'm gonna put a little bit more water in my coffee paint because I'm gonna want it to be a lighter color to do the insides of the bears ears so you work away on your bear now I've put more water in my coffee to make it a lighter colour. Well, I hope it's a lighter colour anyway. Um, now you can do the same. Have the inside of the bear's ear is a bit lighter, lighter. Actually, if you've done the outside and you found, I should have said that, if you found that it was a little bit light, just put a bit more coffee in the water and mix it up with a spoon and you'll have a darker colour. So... I'm just going to try, I hope it's a lighter colour now. I'm just going to do the inside circle. Oh yes, it's a lighter colour. There. And there. So guys, there's our coffee part done. You keep working away until you get your bear done.